So today we are going to make a, we call it game night food, even though it might not be game night. I don't know if tonight is game night, but we eat this kind of like on a regular too as well. Um, but this is a turkey or ground turkey cheese sauce with tortilla scoops. So this is something you can make as a party dish. You can make this as a dinner dish, which we're going to eat it for dinner tonight. Um, hey, Grace, you can make this as a dish to bring to somebody's holiday party. It's really, really good. You're really going to love it. Um, and then, of course, our star today is going to be our dry moon spice that is now available on our Elite Total Body Care site. Um, it sold out twice, which is crazy because I tried to keep a reserve on purpose for the dry moon spice. I did not know that it would have gone this way. Plus today is my father's birthday, who is also the creator of Moon Spice. And we received our shipment of spices today all the way from Jamaica on his birthday, you guys. So you guys definitely make sure to wish my father a happy birthday. Just put a happy birthday Mooney in the comment section so he can see it. So today my father has turned 92 years old. Um, if y'all don't know my dad, now you know. I'm just saying my dad is not even 70 yet, but don't tell him I said that. Anyhow, also, you guys, I got in contact with the vendor for the Selena unit, which is the unit you guys see me wearing. Um, I kind of wet her down a little bit because she had gotten really big from me wearing her yesterday and not putting anything in her today. So I wet her down, um, and this is what she looks like when you wet her down at the beginning, and then I put a little bit of wrap foam. So as she dries, the curls will be nice and cute, and they'll just kind of fluff a little bit. So I've also included the link to the Selena unit, which I'm very limited on the number of units that I have because they said that this was a unit that they're actually discontinuing. So they gave me the last of what they had. So the link is in my link tree. So if you close your chat box and you hit the more button right under the title of this video, you will see the first link which is my link tree and I have a picture of the Selena unit. It comes 20 inches and then you can cut it to whatever length you want. Um, I'm not pre-cutting them on purpose because everybody's neckline is different, but it's super easy to cut, you guys. Literally take some scissors or a razor and just chop, 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 and you're all done. Um, she comes pre-plucked, all that good stuff. So you don't have to do anything, really. Like, I did not customize her. My lace, I did try to tint my lace, but my skin was a lot darker, I guess. I don't know, I think, you think, I think your girl got light skin. Anyway, um, but I don't really do anything to her. I just kind of like, I wear her like this and, you know, I'm good. Like, you can do customization, whatever you want to do to her. But she does come pre-plucked, so it's really, really easy. And like I said, the link is in the description box. All right, so let's go ahead and get to cooking. Um, I thought I was prepared. I thought I was like super ready, but I'm not. <laughs> okay. So what I have here is I'm going to get my aromatics ready. So what you're going to need for this dish is definitely some extra sharp cheese. Okay. Extra sharp cheese is very important when you're making a cheese sauce. Okay. So I actually have two different types of cheese. Um, this cheese was on sale at Publix two for six. That's why I got this one. Same size as this, but this is extra sharp yellow cheese. And then I also got a medium and then I got a mild in a larger block, which is the one pound block. So in total, I have about two and a half pounds of cheese that you are going to hand shred. I don't like to use the shredded cheese that's in the pack because they use potato starch to keep it shredded. Um, for your cheese sauce, you really don't want to have cheese sauce with potato powder or potato starch on it because it leaves the cheese sauce grainy. So it is really good to use um, shredded cheese that does not have that potato starch on it because it, it's just not going to make it super grainy. The potato starch, the potato starch gets, hey, 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 there, that's nothing. It's just a plastic bag. Sit. My gosh. Okay. Do not make that noise with that bag again. You know they hate that. All right. So that's what we're using for the cheese. We also are going to use a little bit of butter. Um, I have a red bell pepper, an onion. Go ahead and put it over there somewhere and um, my seasonings and all that stuff, so we'll get to that. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and you're going to cut your red bell pepper into dices, um, as small or as big as you like. Some people like a chunky dip. Um, with the fact that you're adding ground meat to it, it's gonna be chunky anyway, but some people don't want the chunkiness of the bell pepper. 
but you can make it, like I said, as big or as small as you want. If you're making this for the holidays to bring to someone's house for maybe a holiday party, then this will work out great. If not, um, and you're just making it for your family, like I said, cut them as big or as small as you want. Um, you're going to cook them anyway, so they will sweat and get nice and tender, so it won't make a huge difference. Now, remember, these were in my freezer, so they are partially frozen, which for what I'm doing, it doesn't really matter. When you're going to cook them, them being frozen changes nothing, but it does add a slight amount of water to your dish, so just be mindful that you could have a little bit more water than you choose, but it will evaporate, okay? So that's my red bell pepper. I'm also going to put a small piece of yellow onion in there um we're gonna do the same thing where we're gonna just i guess dice it or whatever the term is i think i learned it in culinary school years ago but i cannot remember mise en place and all that stuff when you're making all your little own part your little aromatics but whatever all right so we're gonna dice our onion here okay it doesn't have to be fancy you guys it's just the onion we're not on Food Network. Maybe one day I'll be on there and they will allow authenticity. <laughs> like what I'm doing where it's really not just so um, Food Network-y. Okay, so you're just gonna dice this into little squares. Um, I'll take those little pieces off in just a second. Okay, so nothing fancy, you guys. It's, it's going into your dip. So if you want it small, you can use a food processor. If not, then you can do it the way I'm doing it and not worry about it. Okay. And then, of course, if you have any garlic, you can put that in there. I'm not going to use any garlic today. I'm just going to use some garlic powder versus um, the raw garlic. Okay. All right. And then, of course, as soon as I start cutting them, you guys know how I get. So it is what it is. So I'm gonna take you guys over to the stove here so we can get started um, cooking our ground meat. So I know you guys can see that. So we're gonna cook our ground meat first on purpose and then we'll start making our cheese sauce. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my pan on here. Let me see any comments that I might've missed. We don't have any snow here, Crystal. I live in Florida. <laughs> My dog heard your dog bark, so she started. Listen, they're just sending barks all over the world. Yes, the moon spice. And then Selena, like I said, I only have a very few amount. I literally took everything they had because this unit is being discontinued. So if you guys want this unit, this is what she looks like when she's wet. And then as she dries during the live, you'll see how she dries. She just gets nice and fluffy. And I used a little bit of Elite Silk Wrap Foam on her and just scrunched it up. So I know that once she gets fluffy, she's gonna stay nice and curled. Cute, very cute. She's going on vacation with me. Hello, father, happy birthday again, old man. You guys wish Mooney happy birthday, he's on there. All right, so we're gonna pour some oil in our pot. Oh, to put on my cutting board? Yeah, I know, so it won't slide around. I'm just being lazy, just so you know. I learned that in culinary school. I, I'm just, I'm at home, you guys. So you guys know I do, I do things the, the regular way at home. I'll, there's no formalities here when we're at home, but I, I do know of that tactic. So yes, I usually will sometimes even put a oven mitt under it, one of the flat square ones that works just the same because they're very um, rough. But yes, thank you. I appreciate it. All right, so my pan here is getting hot. Okay, I'm gonna take my aromatics. I'm just go ahead and put those in here. So we're going to start to sweat them out. Save your cutting board and your knife. You're going to need it for your cheese. Okay. So I'm just going to stir that around and let that start to fragrant my oil. Which we're going to be using ground turkey, but you can use ground chicken. You can use um, ground beef, ground chuck, anything ground. You can use, you don't have to use turkey if you are a chicken person. You can use the ground chicken. If you like red meat, then you can use ground beef. They all work the same. Okay, you can even do a mixture of meat if you're going to a party where people really don't care. 
You can add ground pork and ground beef together to give it even more flavor. It's really your choice. Okay, so that's what we're starting with. I'm just gonna let them sweat just a little bit. Remember, we're about to cook our ground meat, so I don't wanna make them sweat to the point where they're already super cooked. I'm just fragrancing my oil, and then I'll put my ground meat in there because it's still going to cook with the ground meat. Hey. So what we were saying earlier is a great birthday gift to my father is to sell out his first batch of Moon Spice Dry Rub. So you guys go to EliteTotalBodyCare.com and get your Dry Rub Moon Spice. The paste will be available the second week of January. Okay, and all orders for the Dry Rub will ship on or before January the 9th, guaranteed. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my ground turkey in there. Now, some people season their meat, some people don't. I am an Islander <laughs> um, and I like seasoning. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna Push that around real quick. Get our peppers in there. Get our onions in there. Okay, the onions and the peppers add flavor, you guys. This is a this is a scoopy type dip, so there is no right or wrong to this. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our seasonings. Now let me just twist this up real quick. Crystal, sorry, we have to keep them separate. Also, I forgot to tell you guys, the Selena unit is free shipping. So the link for the Selena unit is in the description box. It is not on the hair care site. It's actually on the Crystal W online site. And it is free shipping, so there's no shipping for that. All right, let's go ahead and add our seasonings. We do have our stove on high right now, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and add some garlic powder. Can't go wrong with garlic powder. I'm also gonna add some um, black pepper, some coarsely ground black pepper. This is a automatic pepper grinder. You can get this in my Amazon store. Okay, and this is a coarse grind. All right, goodie on that. And then I'll add just a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. And lastly, we're gonna add our dry rub moon spice. So for those of you who keep asking, what is the moon spice? What is the moon spice? What is it? 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 It's super strong, okay? So this is what moon spice looks like, you guys. Okay, that is what it looks like. So it has all of those different spices in it, okay? I'm gonna use a whole tablespoon and a half to season my ground meat. Okay, so I just use the moon spice to season my ground meat. Whatever you can, you can season meats, sauces, chicken or poultry, seafood, whatever. It is your choice. Okay, there is no right or wrong when it comes down to the moon spice. Okay, I'm just gonna mix it around just to make sure that I get it nice and spread out. I'm using my trusty Dutch pot. If you don't have one, the link for the Dutch pot is also in the Amazon store. If you guys close your chat box and hit that more button right under the video name, you will see my link tree where all of my applicable links, Selena, Moon Spice, everybody is in there. Okay. So we're letting that start to cook 
as you guys know, ground turkey, ground beef, they don't take long, okay? So it's not something that you wanna walk away from. Just be mindful, you don't really wanna walk away from it. Just cook it, and the reason why we're cooking this first is because I need to drain this really well so that I can add it to my cheese. You cannot add it to your cheese with all this moisture in there or it's gonna make your cheese sauce runny. And that's the catch to it. People will make this part and then they leave it wet and they don't give it time to really drain so that you can add it to your cheese sauce. And it needs to be nice and dry. It needs to be nice and dry. And the link to the moon spice is also in the link tree, you guys. Now, I like to add a little bit of kick to my cheese sauce. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of cayenne pepper to our ground meat. Now, you don't have to add a lot. Remember, the moon spice is not spicy, you guys. It's not salty either. You can add your own salt, you can add your own spice, and then you can enhance the flavor as much as you like. As you guys saw me today, I put garlic powder in there. Um, sometimes I'll use scotch bonnet sauce. Sometimes I'll use cayenne pepper, paprika. You can add those flavors to your dish. So moon spice is just the blend to get you started off, but you can use moon spice all by itself too or you can literally use it in conjunction with your other favorite spices, so you're not restricted. You can use it in curry, whatever. All right, so you guys see that our turkey is basically done. Um, I'm just making sure to like remove any clumpy, clumpiness in it. Okay, you see all of our aromatics in there. The aromatics is what gives it more flavor, you guys. Do not be afraid your aromatics you can even add green onions you can add green pepper you can add spice you can add whatever to your meat okay but you want to make sure your meat has seasoning it has taste we are no longer eating untasty meats okay all right so i'm going to go ahead and turn this off and then what we're going to do is i am going to use my colander and i'm going to drain this Will we eventually get Moon Spice dispatched to the UK? Sorry if this has been asked. Mitch, I'm not going to say I'm working on it, but that's that's the next thing. So I had to twist the front of my hair because it kept going in my face, you guys. So that's why you see it kind of like twisted. But this is, she's doing her thing. to pour my ground meat into the colander so that it gets time to drain okay so what I'll do is I'm gonna bring you guys on this side because we'll be over here for just a little bit while we grind up or ground up or shred our cheese so I'm bringing you guys over here um, so that we can do the cheese and you can see exactly what I mean about the cheese. all right so we're gonna take our ground turkey as I said, use your ground chicken, use whatever you want, your choice, okay? And we're gonna just pour that off. We do not need the water from the ground meat. You do not need the water from the ground meat, okay? Sorry, you guys, I know I'm scraping the pan, I'm sorry. I don't want to leave anything behind. You'll see why. So I don't want any of my aromatics spilling here. So if you guys want to mute, you can mute just because I'm scraping. Okay. So we're just going to put her back on the stove. We're just gonna allow our meat to drain while we work on our other stuff. All right. All 
Okay, Mitch. Hi, brown sugar. You guys don't forget also 50% off everything Elite Hair Care Canada. Look at that. Mm. Can't beat that one. 50% off everything on Elite Hair Care Canada. Come on, you guys. So if you're in Canada, shop, shop, shop. Okay. So we're now going to shred our cheese. So what I'm going to do, oh, I wanted to actually use one of these. Okay, so I'm going to get my glass bowl and I'm going to go ahead and open my cheeses. You know, I actually had some scissors in here and now they disappeared. Go ahead and open your cheeses. Of course, extra sharp cheddar is going to always be very hard. Okay, so we're gonna do all of our cheese. Now, this is a redundant kind of thing. If you have a food processor that has the cheese shredder on it, you can use that. I prefer to just do it by hand. Um, I mean, I know it takes time. If you have kids, they can do it for you. But for this recipe, you do want to make sure that you do good, use a good amount of cheese. And like I said, stay away from those pre-shredded cheeses because that potato starch does not taste good. And it actually kind of breaks the cheese sauce to me when you use, um, use pre-shredded cheese. Okay, so I'm just going to cut that in half. So I'm going to move that there. I'm going to bring my bowl here. And then I have my handy dandy grater. This part of the process is very slow. So if you guys just want to just chill, <laughs> you can. But you're going to just grater your cheese. So. And I'm just using the big holes. Of course, if you have another type of grater, go ahead and use it. You can even do slices if you choose. If you want it to be like quick, but... This doesn't bother me, and this goes really fast, actually. And it doesn't need to be perfect, but it does need to be gratered. So I'm starting with my extra sharp on purpose, because the extra sharp is what really is the, the kick to your cheese sauce. You need the extra sharp, not just sharp. It needs to be extra sharp. And then if you have some little chunks in there, it's not a big deal. That's fine. So that's our extra sharp. Now, if you're making a really big one, then of course you're gonna use way more cheese than this, but I'm just making it for my family. And adding the meat stretches the dish, just so you guys know. So if you're just doing a cheese sauce by itself, then you might not have enough, but when you add the meat, it stretches the dish. So this is our mild cheddar. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, Katrina. even end up using all of this cheese but we shall see all right this is the medium cheddar guys you do want to have a well-rounded amount of cheese now if you want to do white cheese you can if you want to add it to this just remember that white cheese is going to dilute the color if you use mozzarella or anything else remember those cheeses have different flavors so i try to stay in the cheddars 
family. But if you want to use other cheddars, spicier cheddar, use whatever you want. Just don't forget the extra sharp. That one I would not skip. Alex, tell Alexa to turn off the AC or turn off the heat. Did she do it? All right, so that is our mild. I think I'm actually gonna stop with this. I might just put a half of the extra sharp. So I'm gonna put another half of extra sharp because that extra sharp is what really makes the difference. And then I really probably won't use the other part. I'll just put it in the freezer. It can be used at another time. So don't throw your cheese away. You can put it in a freezer bag and put it in the freezer. Cheese is cheese, you can use it. But when you go to use it, just make sure that you allow it to thaw. That's all you have to do is allow it to thaw. Especially with cheese, you have to allow it to thaw. All right, so let's wash that off. So we are now ready to begin making our cheese sauce. Before I start, let me see if I missed anything, any questions, whatever. <laughs> Mitch, that's funny. I used the dry one today and added oregano, black pepper, paprika, onion powder, and red pepper flakes. Wonderful, absolutely. So if you guys don't know, Grace is in Jamaica, so she gets like, like literal access to my dad for him to make it for her. All right, you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you guys over here to the stove. So guess, who can guess what pot we're gonna use to make our cheese sauce? Just take a guess what pot we're gonna use to make our cheese sauce. What pot am I gonna use? Let's see who can guess. Ha, the same Dutch pot that I use for my meat. You know why? Because it has flavor already. Yeah, so that's how it really goes. <laughs> okay, so for this step of the process, all you're gonna need is some butter. Okay. There we go. So you're gonna need some butter, some milk, all-purpose flour, and your cheeses. You don't need any oil or anything else, okay? So for this part of the recipe, you guys wanna just pay attention, and you're also gonna need a whisk okay you need a whisk for this so I'm gonna allow this to get slightly warm okay and we're gonna use two nice sized tablespoons of butter okay That's really all you need two nice tablespoons of butter okay we are gonna create what we call a roux so we're gonna create a roux to make our cheese sauce so you're gonna need your butter first and then you need equal amounts of all-purpose flour so if you use two tablespoons of butter then you're going to use two tablespoons of um you're going to use two tablespoons of flour 
Okay, so we're gonna put one, two. So all we're making is a roux. This is a common roux, nothing different. And then you're just gonna use your whisk and just make sure that everything is within the butter. Okay, it's nothing fancy. If you wanna add a little more butter, you can, which I think I will. So that flour seemed to just kind of do its own thing just now. So I'm going to add a little more butter. For my New Orleans people, you guys know exactly what I mean when I say a roux. Okay, this is just butter and flour. Okay. And then once I have that nice and ready, I'm going to just add a little bit of milk. Okay, so we're gonna mix that in with a little bit of milk. I'm gonna turn my stove down as well because that's kind of high. Just drying it out too quick. And now we're gonna start adding our milk in. Okay, and then you're just gonna mix, 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 or whisk it until it's no longer clumpy. The stove is on low or, yeah, it's on low. Okay, you just want it to be low enough that you can whisk out the clumps of your roux so you can make your cheese sauce. Okay, you don't want lumpy roux. And you don't wanna add too much milk too fast either because then that will, this is obviously not cheese dip. No, this is not the cheese dip, we're making the roux. <laughs> This is not the cheese dip. We're making the roux so that we can thicken up our milk to make the cheese dip. So cheese dip is actually made with milk, butter, and flour, real cheese dip. Let me say it the right way. Real cheese dip is made with milk, butter, and flour. And then once you get the thickness or the creaminess you want in your actual milk and butter and flour, then you add your cheese and it becomes a cheese sauce but you have to make a roux first. Now we're not making the roux like you're making gumbo. You don't want this to get dark. You just wanna make sure that it's nice and smooth because once you start adding your milk, you don't wanna run the risk of it being clumpy or really floury. So I have my stove on low. Okay, so gumbo roux gets really dark. We're not making a gumbo roux, okay? So all I'm doing is I'm going to wait until this starts to form a couple little bubbles, and then we will start to add our milk. Okay, in the meantime, I put my flour away, put my butter away. You don't need any more flour. You don't need any more butter. You guys see how it's starting to just really be really sticky, like it's sticking to the pan? That's what you want, because if you go and you add milk to this now, you might end up changing the consistency slightly. So you want this to be nice and creamy so that it continues to thicken your milk, okay? And if you go too fast and you don't allow your milk to get creamier, then you'll end up breaking and now you don't have any thickness and it's like water. Okay. Let me see if I'm missing any questions. Is that enough to make cheese sauce? No, it's not. How can persons in Jamaica get moon spice? Anel, um, Grasshopper will put the phone number for you to reach my father. I lie to myself and tell myself I'm going to cook more. <laughs> uh, you don't have to have a double boiler. 
I mean, I don't, I don't need a double boiler for me to do what I'm doing. I've been doing this recipe for a while too. So this is just my version. You can do it whichever way you want. I can't wait for the dry moon spice seasoning. The paste is so good. This seasoning is the best. Thank you, Betty. Did you do four tablespoons of butter? It ended up being three tablespoons of butter to two tablespoons of flour. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start adding our milk. I'm gonna start with a small amount of milk. Now my stove is on a medium low, okay? And as I add the milk, I make sure that my milk and my roux is put together. I do not want to run the, sorry you guys, if you hear my pan like moving around, remember this is a very old Dutch pot. Okay? It's probably the age of my children. So I'm gonna just continue to whisk to make sure that all of my roux is in and mixed in well. And then I'm gonna allow this batch of milk to start to thicken and then I will add more milk slowly. And you'll do this every time you add milk until you get it to the amount of milk you need, number one, and the creaminess that you want. And you wanna make sure that it doesn't bubble. It should not bubble so much. It should just really just start to thicken like a cream. That's really all you want. So this part, you just take your time. One time I rushed this dish with this portion and my roux kind of broke. My milk was just not thick enough. My cheese just kind of like got real runny, real. And then I used the potato starch type cheese, which is the pre-shredded cheese. It just didn't work out the way I wanted it to. So going forward on this end, I just take my sweet time. Um, yeah. So just know that your stove does need to be slightly hot so that the thickness and the chemistry can happen when you're thickening your milk. Okay. So as it all starts to bind, you'll start noticing that your milk is getting thicker and thicker. Okay. You see how it's like coating the pan that tells you that it's creaming. And don't walk away from this. Please, please, and please. You will be very upset if you walk away from this. <laughs> I've walked away once before. I have a couple horror stories with this dish. I've walked away before um, <laughs> in a burning. It was just a lot going on with my little, my little cream sauce here. So never again will I walk away. <laughs> So you guys see how it's starting to thicken? You can tell by the way it's moving that it's thickening. Okay, so we're gonna make sure that each step is thick. Each step. That's how I was taught to make cheese sauce years ago when I worked at a small restaurant. This is how most cheese sauces are made. Yeah, like, well, you know, Manufactured cheese sauce has preservatives and all that stuff in it. So, okay, you see how, guys, you see how this has gotten thicker with me just literally standing here running my mouth? Look how thick it got. You can tell how it's moving. You see how it's glooping in there? So that means that we are ready to add more milk. Remember, the milk is cold. So every time you add more milk, you have to make sure that you stir it really well so that it can continue to thicken. We're not going to season our cheese sauce just yet. And yes, you do season your cheese sauce. Okay, you season everything. And I'm gonna show you guys how. And just make sure that if you see any clumps of your roux, you go ahead and whisk those out. This is also the reason why you wanna use a whisk for this part of the process because you need to make sure that you don't have any clumps anywhere. Cheese sauce should be nice and smooth from beginning to end. Right now my stove is on a medium heat, straight medium. And then of course you don't have to use a Dutch pot if you don't want to. You can use um, a Dutch oven, 
You can use a regular pan. You use whatever you want. But you, I, I prefer to just use the same pan that I use to make my meats because guess what? I'm already building flavor. So that means that my cheese sauce is gonna have flavor and you're gonna combine everything together anyway, you guys. So keep that in mind. Can you guys tell? Can you hear that? That's how you know it's thickening. When you start seeing those bubbles, that means that it is thickening. Now you don't want it to scald where you start seeing it like stick to the side. You can tell when it starts to get thick by how it coats the sides of the sides of the pan. And how it sounds. Okay, you guys see that? And make sure you always scrape your sides. That's also very important. Because as it thickens, you'll start noticing your roux is caking up on the sides of the pan. And then I like to move it and that tells me how thick it is. All right, you see that coming up to a bubble? I'm gonna add some more milk. Okay, if you notice that each time I go, I add a little bit more milk. So I add, like the first one, I just did a small amount, then the second one, I did a next size up, like one size up, then the third one, I did one more size up to what I did the second one. Now my third one, I put a little bit more and I'm just building as I go to make sure that I don't go too fast. So don't go from this amount to a whole pot and expect it to get thick like that. That's gonna take you forever because it has to gotta break through all of that. And you don't know if you have enough flour and butter in here to thicken it the way you want it. So that's why I like to build on my thickness. It works. And as it heats, is when you start to get it starts to get thick so this is the reason why i'm keeping it on a, a medium heat and i'm not walking away from it but i'm also making sure that i whisk it together because remember you have to combine that root that you've had from the beginning all the way through until you finish getting it to where you want it to be In the meantime, let's see what you guys got going on. Is that a Dutch pot? Is a Dutch pot cast iron? I'm gonna be honest, I don't think so. I think it's just stainless steel. I think it's just very, um, very good quality stainless steel because this pot is old. And I know cast iron, cast iron pots are older than this. So I don't think they're the same material as a cast iron pot. Um, possibly, I, I'm not, I don't really know the chemistry. I just know I've been using Dutch pots since I was a child. So my parents still, my mom still actually has the same Dutch pot that she's had since I was a little kid. So I should tell you how long they last. Sonia, Tanya, wow. You guys are not playing with that dry moon spice. Nope, Charlotte, you cannot rescue it if it burns and you can't rescue it if it breaks either. Okay, so I'm gonna start stirring now. I'm whisking. As that milk that you just poured in starts to get warm, it will start to thicken, so don't get nervous. When you start seeing the bubbles, that means that it's getting thickened doing what you told it to do.
you would be surprised that this pot is no more than forty dollars that is probably one of the best forty dollars that you will ever spend so inside my amazon store there's a three pack you get a large medium and small and it actually totals forty dollars for all three of them you will never find a pot that is so sturdy that is so good ever again other than a dutch pot so for forty dollars you get three of these cast iron skillets can run you a hundred or more sometimes so the fact that you can get three Dutch pots and they will outlive you, your home, your cat, and your dog, perfect for $40. People sleep on, on Dutch pots though. So you guys notice how it's thickening as the bubbles come? Also, the reason why you want to keep stirring is the roux likes to stick to the bottom of the pot and the sides. So if you don't keep stirring, it's going to burn. Okay, this requires movement. In the meantime, for those of you that haven't already, please hit that thumbs up button. There's over 250 of you and there's only 107 thumbs up. So that's telling me something's wrong here. So I need everybody to close their chat, hit that thumbs up button so that YouTube can know that my channel is bomb. Can you guys see it's bubbling, it's boiling? This is when it starts to get thicker and thicker and thicker. Now, if you're doing a lot more than I am, then you could, of course, use four tablespoons of, of um, flour to five tablespoons of butter. You know, you're not really restricted to how much butter and flour. If you're doing a large batch, then, of course, you're going to use a lot more flour and butter to make your roux because you're making a larger batch. Eventually, the roux is going to water down by how much you add to it. So just keep that in mind on what size pan you're making because that little bit of roux that we made today won't really suffice if you're making this in a big batch. So you guys see how it's nice and gloopy? Now, it doesn't seem like a lot because I'm doing it in the Dutch pot. Had I done it in um, one of the more, like one of the deeper pans, it would look a lot different. But in this case, I'm using my Dutch pot because I want to just use the flavor that I already had. Let's swish it to make sure. You can hear by the sound. Look at that. That's thick. See that? So when I push it towards the edge of the pan, you see how it's like coating the side? There you go. Do you dinner plan for a week or decide on the day what to make? I decide on the day. I've tried that. Oh, let's dinner plan. That thing does not work. Okay, this is going to be our last pour of milk, which this one is going to take the longest to thicken because I poured a good amount of milk in there. All right, so in the meantime of that thickening, let me see what you guys have going on here. Hey, Kathy. I'm gonna stir this. You guys hear how runny it sounds? Because I've added my last bit of milk and it's going to be kind of runny, but I'm gonna give it time to thicken so that I can add my cheese. Now you don't want it to get too thick when you're ready to add your cheese. That's super important. If it's too thick when you add your cheese, you're gonna have attitude because the cheese is gonna make it even thicker. Okay, so I'm just making sure that I, I mix it really well. And once I see that it starts to coat the sides, then I know that it is ready to season for me to add my cheese. Can hear that you hear that you know that it's not thick enough 
Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. Hold on. Okay, how you know that it's not thick enough? You see how it's moving? It sounds too runny. That means that it is. So you wanna make sure, number one, that you scrape your sides at this step. Very important. Okay, you see how it's, how even on the sides, it's like it's not really coating the pan. That means that it is nowhere near ready. This one is gonna take the longest to thicken because I poured double the amount of milk that is in the pan. But that's fine because I'm not gonna add any more and I don't want this one to get too thick. I just want it to get creamy enough that I can add my cheese. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this bring itself up to a simmer. I'm just making sure that I scrape my sides because that is where your roux goes. It loves to sit on the sides and cake itself up. And just let that do its thing. If you're not fond of milk, then cheese sauce is not gonna be your love. Kathy gets back in stock, unless it literally, um, unless it literally sold out in five minutes. I mean, after this sellout, it won't be available again until after the new year. That I can promise you guys. After this sellout, it won't be available until after the new year. There's only 17 left. Mm. Mm. My nose is super itchy. All right, Miss Kathy. Good, 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 and good. So I'm just waiting for this to kind of come up to a boil before I mess with it again. I can hear it. Jacqueline, you love the Dutch pots, right? Sorry, you guys, my nose is just too good. I know what I need. Mm -hmm. No spray. It's the only way to fix this problem. All right. See, my, my boy, my sauce almost started to stick. I knew it. When I just came just now, I can feel it scalded on the bottom of the pot. Remember, milk loves to stick, it scalds. All right, so I'm gonna tilt you guys down so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, it started to stick to the sides and the bottom. So in order for me to break through that so that it continues to thicken, so if you guys look, you start noticing that it starts to make a thickness on the sides. That's how you know that it's starting to thicken. But you wanna make sure that you don't have anything scalded on the bottom of the pot. For me, just not whisking it, that's exactly what happened. 
So you guys can see how it's starting to thicken. can use a double boiler you can but I'm not doing all of that <laughs> I'm doing it the old-fashioned way my Dutch pot I'm good and me personally the double boiler method that's cool and everything but uh -uh. I like this method I love this method actually Yvette says beginners use double boilers <laughs> Thank you, Grace. Yes, the Selena unit, which is what you guys see me wearing. As you guys notice, she's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I rope twisted her in the front because she kept going in my face. But as she gets bigger, as she dries, she just gets bigger and bigger. I'm trying not to do that in front of my pot. And bigger. Look at that. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, so she's available on the Crystal W online site. The link is in the description box, which is the first link under the description box. And you'll see it says Selena unit. It is free shipping for the Selena unit. That's what I told my sister and cousin. Stop calling me if I don't get my moon spice. <laughs> it's my first time. Then she asked what moon spice is. I love you, sister, but the spice is running out. Y'all are so funny. Two moon spice. Listen, people were going crazy because you know it's taken us a lot of time to get it. Absolutely. With, with, with cheese sauce, you got to have patience, okay? This part is probably the longest part because once you start adding the cheese, you ain't really got to do much of anything. But... Christian. <coughs> hey, Christian. You okay? Yes, Turn on the tree. Yeah. Is it cold here? It's cool, not cold. Yeah. Let's see. Love the cabinets. Is that in your gourmet kitchen? Thank you. What? Put your stocking on. Did you take a bath? No. Put your stocking on your head. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to send you a copy of this Cook With Me cookbook. We have written so many. Okay, Mitch, well, you, you can write my book for me because I cannot sit down and write out these recipes. I am not that kind of person. I'm a very keep it in your head. I can't transcribe it to paper. It's not that simple. Okay, so my milk is starting to do its thing. It's almost ready for me to add my cheeses, but it's not thick enough yet. I'm the same way. I use my pot, no double boiler. I don't want to wash another pot, me either. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna tilt you guys down so you can see what's happening here. Okay, if you guys notice, it's boiling, right? But you do not want to allow it to boil and sit. This is when you wanna make sure that you are stirring and scraping your sides because all of your roux loves to sit on the side. Okay, so you can tell the difference. It's starting to really create that thickness, but it's not thick enough just yet. Now it doesn't need to be as thick as before because we're gonna add our cheese, but you do need to make sure that this part is creamy. And then while you guys see me doing this, I'm actually pressing my whisk to the bottom of the pot because remember, milk scalds. So it sticks to the pot. You want to make sure that you give it way for it to thicken. Everything that's sticking to the pot is butter, flour, milk. So you want to make sure that you whisk it so that it continues to have that thickening action. Now, if you get to this point where it's still not thick enough because maybe you broke your roux, you can literally take a little bit of this milk in a very small cup Add a little more flour to that and then pour it back in here and it will make it thick. So if I need to do that, I'll show you guys how to do it. But that is how you fix this before it gets bad. Okay, so if you added too much milk too fast and it's not thickening the way you want it to, that is how you make it thicker. 
without running the risk of it being grainy. So I can tell when it's thick enough. Right now, I just got a ton of bubbles in it. So we gotta let those bubbles out. The longer you let it sit, the thicker it will get. So once it gets to the thickness you want, you're gonna cut your stove off. Heat is what causes it to thicken. Okay, it's not the milk. It's heat with flour and butter is what allows it to thicken. And flour with anything can thicken something. So it's the flour that you keep seeing me scrape. I can see my roux stick to the sides of my pan. Like, I can tell. That's how I know that that roux is really good because I can see it. Now the amount of love that we put into this cheese sauce, you telling me that people at your holiday party are not gonna love this? You put so much love into this. There is no reason for them to not say, who, who made this? All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do what I was talking about. Hold on one second. It's real, 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 real easy. I don't know if I want to do it, but I'm like, okay, I wanna show you guys how to do it, but I'm not sure if I want to, to mess up my sauce. Follow me. So I'm gonna take a little sprinkle of all-purpose flour. When I say a little sprinkle, like half a tablespoon of all-purpose flour. Okay, with that little tablespoon of all-purpose flour, I'm gonna take some of my sauce, right? And I'm gonna put it inside this cup with the all-purpose flour. You want enough so that it covers the flour. And you're gonna mix your flour and your milk, but you need to make sure that it's creamy, you guys, because if you don't, you are going to create a disaster. And you want to make sure you don't have any clumps in here. Okay? So you guys see that thick, gloopy slurry that I just made? I can add just that amount or even a little bit more. Okay? You're not going to use all of it if you don't need all of it. And then just mix. Okay, y'all see how all I did was add a little bit. That's it, it's like a little helper, that's all. We're not trying to make this do anything else, but you do wanna make sure that you whisk out that flour. The reason why I did not add the flour to it just raw like that is because you will never be able to whisk out the clumps of flour. So you wanna start the binding action in the cup so that the moment you put it in here, all you're doing is whisking it to make sure that this does not have any pasty flourness in it. You guys can hear the difference in the sound. That is how you fix a, a cheese sauce if it gets too runny for your liking. That's how you fix it. You hear the difference? That's all you need. Nothing more, nothing less. The longer this sits, the thicker it gets. So when you're gonna make your cheese, remember to turn your stove off and remove your pot from the heat because it's gonna continue to thicken if you don't. I walk up and down too much to cook that. See, you see, you have to, you have to stand here. It's one of those things that you can't like play with it. Thank you, Yvette. You put so much love and detail into your cooking. That is beautiful to watch. Thank you. This is the method I use when I want to thicken my homemade gravy. That's the easiest way. A little bit of flour with whatever sauce you're making. Mix them together and then pour it back in. 
It's no different if you're adding eggs to a hot dish. You have to pre pre scramble. Sorry, sorry. Pre, yeah, I guess pre scramble mix whatever. <laughs> pre whisk your eggs. Add some warm flour, warm mixture to it and whisk it really really good to temper it and cool it down and then you add it to your pot you cannot add a boil a, a, a egg to a hot pot and expect it to just do its thing temper it thank you all right you guys so i think we are ready to go you guys can tell the difference if you look at the size of the pan you see how it's sitting there another good judge of of character let me put that in here another good judge of character of your sauce you guys see how smooth the sauce is? Take your spoon. Let me have a little bit of roux on here. Take your spoon, okay? Put your spoon in there. And if it coats your spoon without breaking, then you know it's nice and creamy. If it coats your spoon and you notice that you see holes in the spoon, meaning that there's no, the sauce is not thick enough, it has not become a thickness, then it's not ready. At this phase, it is ready. Okay, you guys see how it's not putting any holes in between my thickness? That's how you can tell if it's ready or not. If you want it thicker than this and you want to see it like a white paste, then you can wait. And you can also tell by the sound how thick it is. All right, so I'm scraping my sides now. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my stove and start adding my cheese. Okay, so how we add our cheese? Do you just dump the whole cheese in there? No, please don't. You will have no control over what you're making. Okay, so you're gonna take your cheese and you're gonna put sprinkle in one handful of cheese. Break it up and sprinkle it in and start to mix. Okay, this is also gonna thicken, so this is why I said turn your stove off because as your cheese melts, this gets thicker and thicker and thicker. And you wanna have control of it. So you guys see, now if you use pre-shredded cheese that you get at the grocery store, you're gonna notice that this is going to be very gritty. It won't be smooth. This is why I said to use cheese that you shred yourself because it's going to keep it from being gritty and looking gritty because potato starch binds. So you guys see how it just started to thicken all on its own with just one thing of cheese? Okay, so we're gonna add another handful of cheese. And you wanna make sure that you keep whisking so that it stays smooth and that your cheese melts. You'll start noticing that it turns yellow. The more cheese you add, the more yellow it is. And do not add Velveeta to this. Keep it authentic and add your shredded cheese that you pre-shredded yourself. All right, so at this phase, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add my seasonings. By seasonings, I mean a pinch of moon spice, okay? Oi, 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 look at that. Hold on, you guys. Ha, huh, got it. Okay. Now, if you like your cheese to have a little kick, you add some cayenne to it. The cayenne, I'm not going to say it makes it spicy because it's not going to make it spicy. It just gives it a, a slight kick. And then you'll add your black pepper. If you want to use white pepper, you can. I'm just using black pepper. Okay. And then we're going to add some pink Himalayan salt. Remember, moon spice is not super salty. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle in another handful of cheese. And then get back to my whisking to keep it smooth. Cheese sauce should be smooth, you guys. And the stove is off. Just so everybody knows, the stove is off. It is not on, it is off. It is hot enough to melt our cheese. And this is also why we are doing it in batches and not just throwing all the cheese in there at once. Because you need to be able to control it. Now, if you notice that your cheese is not melting the way you want it to, you can turn your stove to like a, a low, very low simmer. 
which is fine. But you want to make sure that you whisk this baby really good so you don't have clumpy cheese. See the cheese? Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, man. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. All right, let's take another handful of cheese. So you can tell the extra sharp. It looks like little bits. Once we're done making the cheese sauce, we're gonna go ahead and taste it to make sure we don't need to add any extra spices to it. Before you add your meat, you wanna make sure that your cheese tastes good. Okay, you can tell that it's getting nice and gloopy. So I'm gonna turn it down to a low heat to assist my cheese and stuff to melt really well. And you don't add more cheese until you melt out the first layer, second layer, third layer, just like when you were building your roof. But this part goes really fast. If I start noticing that it's still glumpy like that, it's not done. You can tell, because you'll start seeing little cheeses just pop out of nowhere. can see it. Why? You want it to run. So we're gonna add our last little bit of cheese. Okay, that's all the cheese we have. That's it. Nothing's left. Just make sure we just kind of push that in there. So you guys notice how the sauce has gone from white to yellow? That's a cheese sauce. Cheesy. And if you notice, this whole dish is about whisk, 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 and then when you're tired, you whisk again. All right, so I'm gonna turn my stove to medium just to get a spark of heat in there. I can feel my cheese still moving around, so I know that it's not all melted. That arm got tired now. I'm not left-handed, so stirring with my left hand feels odd. Y'all see how thick it is? Look at that. Come on. 
Thank you guys. For those of you that say it looks good, for those of you that don't get it, I understand. My fellow Jamaicans who don't eat cheese sauce, so I just have a fun place like, why the Yankee people eat anything? <laughs> I know exactly what they're sitting there saying. When I'm in a cheese song. <laughs> fellow islanders are just looking right now and I said why young people eat all kind of something <laughs> we don't need the cheese sauce thing. oh that was funny all right so we know that it's getting nice and nice and ooh. let me see if I see any cups All right, good. So we're gonna take a spoon. We're gonna have a fork in the middle. And we're just gonna try it. So you see how, how it's sliding off the fork? Let's taste it. This need more spice. So we're gonna add some more cayenne. It's supposed to have a zing to it, you guys. Not, I know most people will look at the cayenne like, oh my God, she's adding so much. The cayenne is what makes the difference, I promise. I'm not even gonna use scotch bonnet sauce because that could break it. The cayenne pepper is what makes the difference. So you need that cayenne, trust me. It's not gonna make it spicy, it's just gonna give it a little kick. You can even add jalapenos to it if you want, but I'm using cayenne pepper because I can control it. Jalapenos, the seeds alone will take it to a spiciness that you can't manage. See how it's dropping out? That's how you know all the cheese is melted. Let's try it again. Still. Wait, let me see on the back side. No, it's good. On the back side, as soon as you finish chewing, okay, good. All right. So now we're going to take our. Bless me. Boy, we're gonna take our meat sauce, our meat sauce, our meat that we made. These can go in the food. Okay, our heat is off. I'm just gonna turn it to kind of like a medium low on purpose. Give it a second while I put these things away. Okay, and then we're gonna take our meat. Remember our meat drained and drained and drained. And then we're just gonna scoop it in to our pan. Okay, you wanna make sure that this drained completely. This is why we did it first, so it can literally sit there and dry out. Because remember, ground meat always adds additional fat to anything you're doing, and then it will end up starting to, it will break your, your cheese sauce. So you don't wanna break your cheese sauce. Okay, and then you just take your spoon and mix it in. And remember the meat is kind of cold, so you do want to give it time to really blend in. And this is why I added those red peppers as well, because you want that, you want to see seasoning. People do not want to see bland cheese, okay? So you wanna add that meat in there. You wanna add those red peppers and onions and even the moon spice. You can see the little allspice or pimento seed. You can see all of that in here, okay? And then if you don't drain your meat, you're gonna notice a whole pool of oil sitting on top of your cheese sauce and then the cheese sauce is gonna break. And you're gonna be very upset because you've worked so hard on this, okay? So you're just gonna give this a second to get nice and warm with your meat in there. Remember, our meat has been sitting, draining for about 30 to 45 minutes, so you wanna make sure that your meat gets warm. And you could have even added more meat to this. You could have added, what we did, a three pound 
a three pound pack of ground meat. You can do five, you can do four, you can do six. And you'd still have more than enough cheese sauce. Okay, and then of course, the more red pepper or red bell peppers you use, the more color it's gonna have. The more chunky it's gonna be. You guys ready? Adriana out. Christian, ready to eat? It's ready. Sorry, you guys. I know you guys hear me like scraping the pot. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, well, we eat turkey, tur ground turkey, but we, you can use ground turkey, ground chicken, ground pork, ground beef, ground lamb. I'm assuming even with the lamb in this will taste really, really, really good. So if you use ground lamb, it's going to just take it up a notch. If you use the ground pork and mix it with ground beef, that'll even be nice too. You can do ground chicken and ground turkey. That's fine. You can do ground turkey and ground beef. You can mix it. Make it taste nice. Get the bowls for me, please. Little plastic ones. Which part is in my Amazon store? Yes. Or you can go to Kitchen Finds. Um, just take out enough bowls for, for everybody. And then I'll use this one. It's okay. It's okay. We should rinse it off. Okay. So I just turned the stove up so that I can make sure that it's, it's a dip, you guys. You want to make sure that it's hot. Okay, and just so we can all be on the same page, cheese sauce does not is not supposed to look like the commercial. They use glue to make cheese, cheese sauce look like that, okay? Cheese sauce is supposed to be dippable. That's how cheese sauce works. So this is not like the commercial where they're pulling the grilled cheese and you start seeing cheese just doing all... That's not cheese sauce. That's glue that they colored yellow. Okay, cheese sauce is supposed to look just like that. It's a dip, but it's supposed to be thick. It coats your spoon. All right. So you guys see, now it's nice and warm. Good, good, good. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and plate, which I'll show you guys. Hey, am I, am I, am I on live? So if anybody knows who gave me this goodie right here, we're gonna use this for our pretty plate, okay? I'll use this to eat mine, but this is our little pretty plate. I have two of them. And then we have Adriana Alex and Christian, and then we have Judy. Can I get the chips? All right, you guys, I'm gonna bring you guys over here. I think you've charged long enough. Yes, that was Grace. What do we eat with it? I'm going to show you. So we buy multi-grain Tostito scoops, but they have them in regular, but the multi-grain have better flavor, so we use multi-grain. Let me get a little paper plate. All right, good. So let me bring her over here. I'll just two plates here, and y'all gonna share? Y'all wanna share? Or everybody want a whole plate for themselves. Okay, well just give me, give me um more, I guess. Thank you. Christian.
All right, so for the sake of the video, I'm gonna play it in this so you guys can see. Don't, don't worry about the fact that it's a pie dish, mind your business. Okay, so we're gonna take our cheese sauce. Mm, mm, mm. And you just scoop it in to your little dish. Whoa. That's our cheese. Cheese. Are y'all gonna stop eyeballing me like that? I'm coming. If you guys could see the eyeballs that I'm getting behind here, you'd understand. Okay? And then you take your chips. So you guys see that you're multi grain, so that's even more flavor. And you just stuck your chips up. So I bought three bags of multi-grain chips, put my little top on, and it's ready to eat. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this one, can you open the microwave box? All right, so for my kiddos. So you just, I use a ladle. You scoop it with the ladle. Bag of chips. Come on, come on. Open it for me, please. We normally don't have any cheese sauce remaining, so. Uh oh, I'll take that one here. of our cheese sauce shall go into this bowl here for my little Alex. Actually not that I'm very much tired of you. Chips if you guys want it there. Is my juice there? Is my juice there? Okay. Welcome, Mitch, to the Elite family. It sounds like Rotel dip. Homemade, basically, yeah. Do I make mac and cheese like that? Actually, I don't make my mac and cheese that way. I make it a little bit different. Was that a bonnet? That is Alex with that bonnet. Yes, you're right. It's Alex with a bonnet. Mm -hmm. You have on a bonnet. Bonnets are disgusting. You should throw them away. She says it. She keeps her. No, I want you guys just to see her. There she is. Say hello. She says it keeps her braids off her neck at night of some sort. Um, okay. Can I sit in my chair? Thank you. Oh. You knew I sat there. Um, excuse me. Turn on the lights. Um, okay, this is not mine. The two piece of ice. Got it. 
and turn on the light for me. Oh, you don't want to sit with us? Alex looked at me like, I don't want to sit with you. That's what I said. You don't have to sit with me at all. And then we take a look at Grace. This is Grace's family. Grace, no, you did go on. You chose the car, was it? It's a little Grace Kennedy hot sauce, you know? You have to support your friends. Grace Kennedy hot sauce. This is made by Grasshopper's family. Not like this one. This one is made by Frank's family. Not the Grace family. Oh my, you wanna see the hot sauce? Everybody thank Grace's family for it. They gave me a sponsorship of their hot sauce, you know? Let's say prayer. Amen. All right, how's it guys? Good. Okay. So I'm using the Grace bowl, the Grace hot sauce with the Tostitos chips. She didn't make the chips though. All right, so how you eat this? Uh -uh. Just make sure say a mix up your hot sauce, your grace hot sauce. I want to try it with take... hot sauce, mom. Go ahead. You like some hot sauce with her hot sauce? Yes, ma'am. You have to support our friend. That's our aunt. And you take your scoop. I like the scoops better than the flat ones. Mm-mm. 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 Christian, are you deaf? Oh my gosh, man. Turn it on. Mm -mm. You just, the scoops are better. The scoops are better. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. How's it with the hot sauce? It's better. Told you, Grace. My daughter said that your hot sauce makes her food taste better. I mean, you, you told us in the car that wasn't with her mom. You said your hot sauce makes her food better. So now we can do our ASMR because we got no. chips. No, no. We're going to eat some chips. Alex, how are we doing ASMR? You hear the chop? You got to hear the chop. It's supposed to be relaxing to you guys. Mm-hmm. Was it relaxing? It's not. Especially when you're smack. <laughs> you're supposed to burp in the in the, you like, in the, you in the um, It's supposed to burp in the little microphone thing that they have in front of them. That's so nasty. Mm -mm. Hey Sonia. Mm-hmm. Kita, you have to try their family's hot sauce. I'm your nails are longer. Mm -hmm. Oh, I finally got my nails done today, you guys. I look like someone again. Make this for somebody's holiday party, you guys. I promise you they're going to love you forever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kathy. I'm sure you can get Grace Family Sauce on Amazon. Type in Grace Kennedy. You will see. It might be a little high, though, if you get it on Amazon. It might be a little high. Mm-hmm. Let me check it for you. Grace Kennedy. Hot sauce. See there? Boy. Oh, girl. Please don't buy it on Amazon. It's $9.99 when it's only like a dollar something. It's like $3 for the same bottle in the store. Don't be so wicked to yourself. Go on walmart.com and you can get it. Go on walmart.com and you can get it. I promise don't waste your money on Amazon. I would never pay $9.99 for Grace Family Hot Sauce. I thought you were going to support your friend, Mom. 
Yeah, but not for $9.99. I can't support my friend for that. That's too much. Not when I know I can get it at Walmart for a dollar. Mm-hmm. 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 They carry Grace at Walmart, Kroger, Bravo, any West Indian store, any Spanish store. It's on the international aisle of every Walmart. You'll see that one. That and Goya, but Goya is nasty. So just stick with the Grace. Her name is even on the top of the bottle. Mm -hmm. But for those of you that want to go and pay $9.99 for it on Amazon, go right on ahead. I'll put it in the Amazon store for you guys because it will look just kind of weird. So that's fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at the little girl still adding hot sauce to Sorry. the plate. It takes it up a little notch, doesn't it? It okay. gives it a nice kick. Open up for me. I'm telling you, the, the hot sauce gives it a kick. The hot sauce bad. It bad. Y'all don't worry about my belly. The hot sauce bad. Just know that <laughs> I've been using Grace sauce for a long time before I even knew Grace as a as a person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ah, you can get a three pack for fifteen dollars if you really, really want it really bad. You get a three pack of this big bottle right here. But they have an even bigger one to this. This is a six ounce. I think they have a twelve ounce set up. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Is it super spicy? No. I mean, is that spicy to you? Mm. It's not really spicy. I mean, Mom, I, I like hot sauce. So. It's going to be spicy for people who don't like hot sauce. Me, I've been eating Grace hot sauce for a very long time, so it don't really, it don't really pepper my mouth, but it's more like flavor for me. If you don't eat hot sauce... Don't be like me. If you don't like hot sauce, it would definitely burn your mouth. Yeah, well, because me just adding that little bit now, it just gave me another kick. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's nice, for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's nice, man. You got to use the nails when you talk to me. It's nice. Mm hmm. You enjoying the ASMR? I told you. Because they can hear us going. No, it's fine. Thank you, love. Making up early tomorrow. For what? Little girl. That's tomorrow evening. Evening. If you're wondering, my hair is that Selena wig unit. So, Pac, we're all wondering, is that you on the picture? Or is that not you? Because the person on that picture has this hair, this hair curl going on. I'm not gonna lie, Selena is now, now Selena is now really like kicking, you know? It's my food, so I can touch my hair. Don't worry about that. Now I just kind of pull her out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, Selena gone. Selena gone, don't you? Mm-hmm, Selena gone, man. I'm just kind of, you know, rough her up a little bit. You see how she just got real fluffy mm -hmm. what is the problem oh there's onions in it where i live in texas you can get grace at a store called fiesta it's in most spanish stores Thank you, Yvette. Love the sound of the crunch. 
Let me help them. Eat up before your cheese get harder. Close your mouth, please. I'm gonna move from the table. I'm going there. <laughs> <Shall I? laughs> you can't move no more because you encourage Joseph to move. Cheese sauce is a hit, isn't it? Is it the crunch? It's not that bad. It's bad. Now you gotta cool down for the drink. Rest of, for the rest of the, you have to cool your drink down. Well, you know, I actually, I actually did that the other day, mommy. Hey, that's a mar. You hear that? Mm. My, my, my belch too. <laughs> you said you did what the other day? Cool down your drink. <laughs> Following Junie. Following Junie. That's what happened. I don't know what I was doing. I did this. Following Junior. I could drink the whole bowl. I've never had multi grain chips, but I'll buy them tomorrow. I wish I could eat her food, but it would be as big as a house. You guys are funny. Thank you, guys. I'm just being funny, you guys. Like, I have etiquette when I eat outside of my house. And John is super funny. I decided to not join us this evening. Because of what you're doing. On purpose. She's not with him, Mom. Mm -hmm. Yes, she is. She looked me dead in my eyeballs. Yvette, you'll love them. You guys try the multi grain. They have seasoning in the multi grain. They're not like the little plain nasty ones. The multi grain actually has like taste. The lemon ones are good. The lemon lime. The what? Lemon lime. Mm. Mm -mm. It's a good one. What did cheese dip? Mm -hmm. Where you had those at? Grandma. Mm. June, the sea moss is coming back. Um, Thank you, Real Talk. Hmm? The smoothies with the sea moss? Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. smoothies with the sea moss? Mm -hmm. When are you leaving for your trip? Very soon. Very, very soon. And people are taking you serious. The Grace Trinity thing is spiraling out of control. You know how much Grace hot sauce I just sold from this one life?
There you go, guys. You should be able to hear me now. Every time the time limit thing comes up on the phone, it cuts the sound off. No, but someone said they like the spinning tree. So if you guys look right behind me, you'll notice that the tree is twirling. It twirls in a circle on an automatic revolver. It's been doing it since the day we got it. Thank you. Our second tree is over there. That's our second tree right there. You're done? Put it there. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I saw a video with a lady who has nine trees in her house. Mm-hmm. It's not wireless, but the cord does not get stuck because it was built so that the cord will not stick get stuck around the tree. The cord turns with the tree. Thank you guys. So the, the automatic spinner, you can get it on Amazon or you can get it at Hobby Lobby. We got it at Hobby Lobby when it was on sale for 60% off. It came to like like $15. We got it with the tree. With the tree. We bought, you buy the spinner separate. So the spinner is just the base. So any tree can go in the spinner. It can be a real tree, it could be a fake tree, it could be a big tree, it could be a little tree. As long as you have the base, the base comes with different fittings for different trees. And then you put the tree into the base, and it's the base that spins the tree. Mm-hmm. Pinkie Pie has one. Okay. Paul says, my Instagram, wait. You can see my Christmas tree on my Instagram. My username is my full name. All right, so no, we can't go see up on Instagram. No, I mean, we'll see. Everybody go to Paul's Instagram so we can see what Paul looks like. Watch him have no pictures of himself on there. He think he's slick. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Paul Allen Cook. Let's see. He's always late. Pat, Pat, we, we, we can't find, I don't see anything that says Paul Allen Cook on here. You must be blind. You, do you know how many Paul Cooks there are in the world? Can, can you be a little more descriptive of which Paul Cook I should pick? Because there's a billion of them here. I see a couple here. Paul Cook, two, two. I mean, one, one. How, how you make the two, two on there? LL. That looks like I, I. Some, some. I, I, okay. All right, I'm gonna assume. Ha! I found Paul with his curly hair and his glasses telling people to get vaccinated. Look at you with the Elite <laughs> Hair Care product on the front page. Look at that. Look whose page has my product sitting on it. It's Paul. It's Paul. He's so proud of that tree. That tree looked like a Nebraska tree. Mm hmm. Go on with the tree, honey. 
So you're just gonna post four pictures on your Instagram and that's all you're gonna keep up there? Or are you, are you gonna start posting more on your page? Mm-hmm. You gonna, you gonna add more pictures or you just gonna stay lurking with four posts? Because the first post was from back in April. You gonna get a little more active on here or you're not gonna get active on here? <laughs> Let me wait for you to answer. So I don't really like the people who have an Instagram page and you got six pictures. And of six pictures, you got six pictures from our $19.99. You ain't posted another one. <laughs> hmm? Go and go clean up, man. Yeah. I'm talking to my people here. No, because boy, when you speak part of it, it's so funny. Why? Because you say the funniest stuff ever about me. I mean, but it's a fact. If you're going to post on Instagram, at least post more than four pictures. Only... All. People think people are weird when they only see four pictures on there. People will think you're weird on here because you only got four pictures, but you're following a million people. Go post two more pictures, step outside your door and snap the snow or something. You'll be a little more active on here. Mm -hmm. oh, yes, these dishes were imported from Jamaica. Little baby duchies. We use them for our cheese dip here. Oh, no, make sure so the kitchen is clean. Um. <laughs> you said something? What happened? Something funny? No? Mm. Thank you, Lisa. Yes, Paul. Go post a couple more pictures, man. Your page too bland. Oh my God, Alex, you do everything like your father. She even did the. You ain't never seen your dad do that. He does. Do what, Ryan? What Alex just did. Oh, you guys are busy because I Wow, she does everything like him. It's so sad. You know why? Because that was the kid. Never mind. No matter. No matter. Just want to do what I'll do. That's good. I almost shared a personal moment with you guys of something. Look, look. Can you put back the um the sugar? Okay. Where are the cheese on? Why are you yelling? Put it in a big Ziploc bag and put it in the freezer. I've become grandma in real life. Everything goes in the freezer. It might spoil. Hurry up. <laughs> Come on, move quickly. I've become grandma now. Next thing you know, the freezer gonna be full of chips. Yes, it is. Garage. Make some space. Move something around. <laughs> Folks on the live, keep crystal from anything with the word grace. Distraction is good. Hi, miss. I have a whole cabinet full of this. You know, I don't run out of grace Kennedy hot sauce, especially because I know I'm supporting my friend. If I don't buy nothing else from Grace, I buy hot sauce though. I don't like nothing. Oh, I like when the um, one on. Wait a second, I'm going to show you all something. I got to give you all a joke. I got to give you all a joke. Oh no, she's wrong. Stay up. No, I'm going to show you all support. So the other day, where was I? Oh, I was in Curacao. Was it Curacao? No. We went, no. To the mall. we went to the mall. And I got a text from one of my kids. Alex. It was Alex. Mm. And it said, Mommy, she was so confident too. She was like, Mommy, can we make this spam? And I said, Spam? I'm like, Where did we buy spam? Because I don't buy spam. I said, Send me a picture of the spam. <laughs> my girl sent me a picture of cotton beans. <laughs> 
And my baby said, could I have some spam? <laughs> Does this look like spam? But I don't know if it's a, it was a tin. My baby said, mommy, can I make some spam? <laughs> so when I saw the picture coming in my text message, I'm like, that's not spam, baby. That's for me. Why is something else? To find something else to eat. <laughs> it was just so sad because I'm like, why do really yucky like? Because my baby said spam. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys how much I support my friend. Wanna look up? That's the only thing I buy from Grace: macarilla and a tummy sauce. Very important. Only this macarilla I will eat. Grace. Hot sauce on corned beef. You see the grease? Oh, you have to support your friends. The spam corned beef. That's an idea, Grace. You should tell your family that. No, That's an idea. Spam, spam corned corn beef. beef. No, we didn't read it. Mom. We didn't read it. So you didn't read it because no, y'all are really American, like really bad. Spam. So I have spam here. Hot sauce on mackerel in tomato sauce. Hey, my friend's family's um, tomato mackerel sauce. Bad. Mm-hmm. Pongreas. When you had to accept corned beef, I ran back to the pantry to see what it was actually corned Spam. Mind you, no, spam don't even come in a red tin. Spam comes in a blue tin. Listen, that's the off-brand one that your grandma buy from the save a lot. That's not spam. Spam, spam. Let me show y'all what's spam. See, that's how I know. It's okay. Grandma has, has hipped y'all to what's not spam, which is the little hood one from save a lot. Let me show y'all what real spam look like. Let me show y'all spam so we all under the same understanding that this is real spam. What grandma buys is the pork byproduct that's sold at the save a lot that y'all been eating. That's good. Here you go, baby. This is spam. You see this? Oh, this is spam, right? Okay. This is spam. This is corned beef. Yeah, grandma doesn't buy that. They don't look the same, do they? No, no. Okay, this is spam. This is corned beef. Spam. Corn beef. Here they go. No, grandma's own is red because grandma buys the one from Save a Lot that's called Tam. It's not called Spam. My mom, you know, my mom is a little special, you know, with her with her pocket, you know. When we used to go grocery shopping, if my mom said we was going to like Publix or something, we knew we was only gonna get like two, three items. But you see, when we go grocery shopping, and she said we're going grocery shopping, and she pulled up into the Save a Lot Plaza. Y'all don't even understand. We were in heaven because we knew that we were going home with a cart full of stuff. And then you go home and you sitting there like, man, what kind of snack I want today? I want some pickles. No, but they're not, they're not called kosher. They're called bosher. You, know? you want a little orange juice. You know, it's not Tropicana. It's Belfast or something. You know what I mean? Like you want some hot sauce. The only thing that we did actually buy real was Grace though. Been supporting so my friends since I was young. Mm -hmm. Grandma, Grandma still uses hot, Grace hot sauce, don't it? Support your friends, yeah. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Kimberly. You come to one of the craziest channels on YouTube, I promise. Because this is so unconventional of a channel. Yes, my mom is one of those people. Let me just kind of explain to you guys. I love my mom. Let me explain to you guys what I vowed when I became an adult that I was not going to buy like my mom. You know, my mom will see Mountain Dew and then she'll see Mountain Rush. But because the Mountain Rush is a quarter less, she's gonna get the Mountain Rush. Mind you, the Mountain Rush fizz goes off. The moment you open the tin, it's no longer fizzy. It just fizzes when it opens. That's my mom. If you say you want some Seagram's ginger ale, and if right next to the Seagram's ginger ale is Belfast ginger ale with lime, and it's 10 cents less, she's getting that one. And she's gonna fill up the door with them. Mm -hmm. That's my mom. Yeah. Cola. She love anything that says cola, not coke. Yeah, cola. We don't get sold. We never got Sunny Delight here. We got Tropicana or Tropicana. Do you know the gallon jug? Mm -hmm. They still sell that one. But it doesn't taste like Sunny Delight. Sunny Delight was not super thick and creamy. But the Tropicana one was real thick. You had to cut that with water can double the, the gallon. You get one gallon, you cut it with water, now you got two gallons. That's how thick it was because it was supposed to be the knockoff version. It's a sunny delight, but we loved it. It was good, it was good, it was good. You know, we wanted frost, hey, 
if we wanted Frosted Flakes, we'd have to like literally beg mommy to buy a specific one or she's gonna buy like Tony toasters or something. No, mom, she go to my coffee Yes, she did get those. That we did get, yeah, yeah, you know? If you wanted corn flakes, they might have had a little rooster on the front like Kellogg's, but the rooster looks look a little sick. It wasn't the same Kellogg's rooster. Yeah, yeah, it was real special, you know? Growing up, you know what I mean? We never really had like, Craft cheese was a real myth in my house. It was more like save right soda cheese. Yeah, country corn flakes. Yeah, you know, that was, that's, that was gross. That was us growing up, but it was healthier than the food we eat right now. I, be, I believe that one. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yes. What? Is it alive? You want peanut butter and jelly? It's not smuckers, it's buckers. <laughs> We're getting buckers jelly. And you know how smuckers comes in a nice short jar? Buckers comes in a big bag like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. You want honeycomb cereal? Mm -mm. You're getting beehive <laughs> with the honeycomb on the front. The cereal, no, she wouldn't buy the cereal in the bag because she said it spoiled too quick. We never got that one. Mm -hmm. My mom is also one of the people where we wouldn't use her dryer. We had to use the clothesline in the back. And every weekend, go take the clothes off the line. Don't make rain catch them. Don't make rain get them. Mm -hmm. Go take the clothes off the line. You hang up the clothes? Crystal, did you lose the dryer? That's my mom. So when I became 16 years old and I had a car, there was a laundromat right up the street and I would literally wash my clothes at home and drive to the laundromat and sit in my car, scared as hell of bums and stuff coming up to you. I didn't care, it was the ghettoest laundromat on the planet. But I'd just sit in my car, lock my door and watch my clothes dry in a dryer so that my clothes wouldn't smell like outside. And God forbid you let sun catch them, Aryan catch them, I got the time let them stink. Mm. You go to school talking about, ooh, this funny smell like a hamburger. <laughs> I never forget it. <laughs> oh, we couldn't use a dishwasher in my mom's house. Well, we still don't. She still doesn't, yep. My mom's dishwasher has rotted twice. Mm -hmm. And it's fixed. And she doesn't use it. It just sits there, right? I know. My mom doesn't use hers. Like, it literally, like, I think it creaks when you open the door. Mind you, she's replaced it, like, two times with a new dishwasher that she still doesn't use. But it's okay. One thing we've always had, though, at my mom's house is a deep freezer. And I followed right in her footsteps with a deep freezer. That, that we have. Meat did not a freezer from about 10 years ago. <laughs> Every time she buy new meat, it just go on top. So we never get to the bottom. Meat did not a freezer. The freezer burn on dead. Hmm? Oh, my gosh. My mom froze everything during the hurricane. She froze ice. She, boy, we had so much chicken for years years you know y'all don't know michelle boy we used to hang our clothes outside and they were stiff as a boy <laughs> no mines would smell bad you know why because they would sit on the line for all three four days i'm not going out there mm-mm mm -mm. But one thing my mom bought for certain that was real name brand was Grace Kennedy hot sauce. My friend, support your friend then, man. Whoa, support your friends. Grace gonna kill me. She gonna, she gonna kill me, you guys. She's going to kill me. She's going to WhatsApp me and torture me to death. She's going to curse me out. <laughs> because I told y'all her family secret. Oh, well. This is the part. I'm going to raise her this part down. I need to raise her this off. Yeah, I'm going to raise this piece. Grace says she's never WhatsApping me again. <laughs> Sorry, guys. 
<laughs> Boy. Oh, she's out there talking cat foolishness right now. Mm-hmm. Something is burning. Or oh, is that that candle? That's the candle that smells like that? That's Must be the candle. Sorry, guys. It was in my face. I had to pull it back. Adriana, come put back the spam. <laughs> Alex, 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 this story will follow you for the rest of your life. <laughs> Mommy, can we get some spam? <laughs> Mommy, can we can we eat the spam? <laughs> That's how you know my mom been fooling them with that fake with that fake spam because they talk about the can is red. That's what made them think that it was spam because <laughs> it looks like the one that my mom. <laughs> You know what's the wickedest thing when you buy bully beef? If you can't find the key, you'll never open that tin. You're gonna struggle to dip for dear life if you buy a can of bully beef without a key. Mm. I thought you used a can opener. No. You know that bully beef is the hardest thing to get out of the tin unless you use the key and cut. Mm, never mind. Here. <laughs> no different from Jamaican cheese. If you don't know how to open in a can of Jamaican cheese and getting the cheese out is a whole strategy. You have to have a strategy to unpack to get that cheese out of the tin. <laughs> Come, put back our Grace products. Latina Macri, I didn't have a cover for so long. Is it expired? Nope. Two more years. The oil? <laughs> Dollar Tree sells the red can that grandma buys. <laughs> That's called wow. It's not called spam. <laughs> it's called wow. <laughs> I love Grace corned beef. Grace, tell us the secret in your corned beef. Come, Adriana, before she finish. You can give us one of your trade secrets. Tell us what's the secret to the corned beef. Tons of salt. That makes sense. She said to add a lot of salt to the corned beef. That's what they do when they make it. I don't eat corned beef. You eat spam, though. You eat wow. <laughs> we do eat spam. No, we eat wow. How does Grace corned beef taste? Let me explain the taste. It's. I can't really explain the taste. You, you kind of have to make it taste like something. Like, you have to use your onion and your tomato and... You know, fragrant the corned beef. Don't just take it out. Some people will take it out of the tin and eat it like that, but that's nasty. That's how you get poisoned, too. I know someone that died from eating a tin of corned beef that was stale, and they didn't know. Mm -hmm. So be careful with those tins of corned beef and, and macro. Huh? Yeah. But all jokes aside, you guys, I'm just being really funny. Grace's family really does own the place, but I don't really like, you know? I'm not really promoting Grace, but you know, I'm just, that's my friend, so you have to support her. Mm -hmm. I just ate corned beef hash for the first time about three years ago, and it was so good. It was good. Corned beef hash about three years ago, that was, that was nice. With look a hot sauce, look a Grace sauce. Anything you add Grace, you add Grace hot sauce to? Nice. Nice, not the Louisiana hot. The Louisiana hot sauce is we don't know what. It's a Yankee hot sauce. It don't taste the same. Mm -hmm. Yankee hot sauce don't taste like hot sauce. Even the one that called, what do you call it? Crystal. That one nasty. Hi, Edna. Good night. Mm. Another night of laughter. I love, listen, I absolutely adore hot sauce on anything. It don't matter what. 
hot sauce or anything for me. Wow, we only have six moon spice left. So between 1.30 and 9.30, over 144 moon spice have sold. Over 144 moon spice have sold in the space of 1.30 to 9.30. So 2.30, Eight hours, 144 bottles of moon spice have sold. Y'all not playing. The dry one, yeah. The dry one. Thank you. There's only six bottles left of the dry one. So tell my daddy happy birthday, happy birthday. You turn 70, you turn 70. I just forgot, I don't really, you know, my dad's been 25 for a long time, so it's still kind of odd for me to say that my dad is like, I don't know how old my dad is, I couldn't tell you. I have to go look at his birthday thing for him to tell me, like, what, what date is your birthday again? How old are you, dad? What year were you born? Enlighten us. Enlighten us, father. Enlighten us. Amora, it was out, but we restocked it today. And it ships on or before January the 9th, guaranteed. Because it actually landed, it got here in our actual facility today. Like, it's here, right now. Not waiting on it, nothing. It's here. Valerie, you'll see that there is two options when you stroll down. There's two options. I know, Grace, I don't, I'm not sure. There's two options. You'll see if you if you actually go to the product page for the moon spice. Let me show you guys because this I think this has been a lot of confusion for people too. All right, you guys, look at this. All right, so if you go here and you, I'm just using my back end, so I'm gonna view the product online. Okay, it says moon spice blend ships on or before January 9th. And you'll see right here where it says Moon Spice 4-ounce dry rub seasoning and then the Moon Spice 4-ounce paste is not available. So you cannot get that one, but you can get the dry rub. The paste would not be available until the second week of, the, of January. By then, all of the dry rubs will be gone before we offer the paste. So the dry rubs will be gone, will be gone meaning shipped out before we begin offering the paste. The paste is the original. It's, it was a paste form from the beginning, but you guys have seen me using the dry versus the paste. You use them in different scenarios. If I'm frying something, I'm not gonna use the wet one, I'm gonna use the dry. If I'm doing some type of dry rub, if I'm just seasoning my food and maybe I don't wanna use the paste, then I use the dry rub. You'll use the dry rub a lot more than you use the paste, but the paste is great for your stews, your sauces, Anything that you, you're adding gravy to, use the paste. Anything that you're frying, baking, you can use either or. Yeah, the dry spice slash dry rub, that one is, the really, is really good. They're both really good, guys, okay? Period. Moon spice, period. I use both. You guys see, I have the big container, so... And my dad said he's going to make another version for me when I get, get to see him. They are. They're all great and they're both in their own right. They don't overlap on each other. You can use both and they still won't overlap on each other. The taste is different. The paste will literally fragrance anything you eat. And the good thing about Moon Spice is it's not meat specific. If you're a vegan or, veg let me say it the right way, if you're a vegetarian, you can use it to season your vegetable dishes, okay? If you are um, a pescatarian, you can use it to season your seafood dishes. You can use it on meat dishes. You can use it on poultry dishes, anything. June, can you tell them about the paste? June is not Jamaican, so let June tell you. June, give us a review of your paste, please. 
Give us one dish that you've used it in and tell me how you liked it. And the moon spice never overpowers any other spices you may have, but it sends the flavor to the moon apps. Hey, come through, Grace. You can use that slogan for your hot sauce, too. It sends your flavors to the moon, but just take out moon and use something else. Thank you, Lynn. Lynn says she's never had anything like it. It's delicious. I just did in my homemade spaghetti sauce. Come on. <laughs> Grace said, go away. <laughs> no, Grace, you have to give your family this one. Give your family this joke. <laughs> give your family the joke, please. <laughs> I'll say, what? Oh, Lord. Oh, I can't make these things up. <laughs> Where is Adriana? Adriana. No, I need Adriana. Oh. I put it in my soups, the only spice you need. Absolutely, June. I'm telling you. You can add salt because it doesn't salt the food. You can add pepper because it is not spicy. Yes, I want it to swell. I like mine's big. Okay, I have a big head. I need big head. Um, those bags, clear out those bags and put them wherever they belong. And the, um, the oil, put it back. And it's swollen because I've been messing with it too because I'm pushing it on purpose. You must try it, I'm telling you. So once the dry rub sells out this time, we're not going to re it up until we get the first batch out. Okay, so... That's the plan. The first batch has to go out first. Oh. I've never had it, so I want my mom to know how it tastes. Yep, she's going to love it. Oh. Bye, mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't put it back. We don't need any more bags. Put those in the garbage. Or the, there's more. There's bag, the bags are empty in the closet. In the drawer. Is it is it a draw empty with <laughs> bless you baby? Thank you. Okay, put it in there. Look at Pack. Pack boy, Pack, you've been gone a long time trying to make these two posts, huh? Let's check it out. Let's see if you if you've gone on to do great things. Look, look at that. He actually went outside and got a video of the snow. Proud, proud moment, Pack. Proud moment. And he even put a little picture up there. Proud moment. That's some real snow. This is right now. All right, Pack. This was on the first day of December of this year. Okay, look. See, this is good. This is good content. This is good content. This is good content, Pack. Very good. Very good content. Mm hmm Good content, Pack. The tape measure guy that was on here keeps talking about... Oh, gosh. Did I miss something? <laughs> I didn't see anybody on here. I love fried spam with mustard and maple syrup on the edges. Fried crispy with rice and scrambled eggs. I haven't had spam in a long time. Mm. You see when I take this off? I get my hair done tomorrow. Can't wait. Getting a haircut, I'm getting a haircut. Haircut, I'm getting a haircut. Hmm? Adriana, close up the cookies. Hey, 
Guys, that's it for me for the night. So I'm gonna go and just relax my brain. What? Oh, hush. That pack look like partially open. Okay. Crystal, when you get tired of Selena, you can send her to me. You know, Selena stays in the draw. I didn't know that she was... This is Selena, the second one, because I have a Selena that's long, like the original, the one long one. And then I cut a second one to a bob like this. But I'm actually loving the bob. My other Selena, I wear it in a bun sometimes. So, like, right now, I'm just kind of, like, pulling it out, but... If I wanted to keep it like real pristine, like tapered, then I wouldn't be messing with it. If I was like going through my day, I keep my hands out of it on purpose so that it will stay sleek. Thank you guys. Lisa. <laughs> Real Talk Retta, if you click the link in the description box, you will be able to see her on my website. And it's free shipping. I still have the long one. I still have it packed. I keep them all. I keep them in a little um, mesh bag. <laughs> you guys are funny. Of a master plan. If anyone is all right, guys, I'm Audi. I'll see everybody tomorrow. Love, love, love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the cook with me tonight. And I guess we'll chat when I go to do my hair tomorrow. Good night.